we have here is the beginning of what we call Kula Pig or Kula Pork. Um, there's an easy way to do it in the crock pot or in the oven. Um, I like to make it in the crock pot just simply because I can set it and it'll work without me having to do it. Um, I have in front of me a 13 pound uh, boneless pork shoulder but um, don't have to go this big. Uh, it just happened to be at Costco. What you want to pay attention to, you can get pork, uh, pork butt or picnic pork or pork shoulder. Um, what you want to look for is definitely pork, um, but a good amount of fat, and the fat is actually what um, helps everything cook down. Um, I just happened to be at Costco when I got this, so I decided eh, I can freeze whatever I don't use for my event this weekend. Um, for now, what I'm going to do is actually cut this down in half and only show you what half makes. So that's about six and a half pounds if I do math, which I don't like to do. Um, when cutting your packages open, try and cut away from you. That's not what I'm doing right now, but it's too late to do that. Well, I guess not. Either way, do it with a sharp knife and be very, very careful. Go like this and over. Luckily, there's this nice. Oh, look! It's already in half. How lucky am I? So. Gonna take half, put it in my crock pot, which is conveniently right next to me. Once you have your Kahlua pig, uh, your pork butt in your crock pot, um, this is a six quart one, I believe. Uh, once you have it in there, uh, there's two ingredients. One, two. Uh, the first being liquid smoke. This is Wright's hickory. Um, it comes in two. Hickory and non hickory. You can find this at your grocery store, usually with your spices next to hot sauce and stuff. Uh, if you don't know where it is, just ask your store clerk and they should be able to help you find it. The other is salt. Um, traditionally, it's Hawaiian salt. Um, this is Alea Alea sea salt, medium grain. Um, it's a thick grain salt, very heavy. Um, I've also used kosher salt, so if that's all you can find, um, go ahead and do that. I put it in this old spice container just to make it easy. You sprinkle the salt on all your parts. You can try rubbing it in if you like. Um, I don't generally. Make sure to get all the sides thoroughly coated. And this is why I like this old spice shaker because I can flip it and not worry about contaminating everything. Be generous. I probably put about four tablespoons or more on there. Uh, and then with the liquid salt, you just want to open it and put about a capful, which is about a tablespoon. Uh, and then just pour it on there. You can put a little bit more. What the liquid smoke does is just give it that smoked smell and flavor when it's done cooking. Uh, right now, it's ready to go. I'm going to put it in the crock pot for eight hours. It's now ten hours later. It's a little bit longer than I wanted, but I did mine overnight. I hope you noticed. New outfit. Um, my cool pig is still in the crock pot. And I'm going to go ahead and take the lid off and actually transfer this into a separate dish. Now there's a couple different ways you can do this. Obviously you can take it piece by piece, but I happen to have these turkey forks here. Um, it's not going to take everything out in one piece, but close to it because, well, these forks are pretty cool that way. Go ahead and take all your pork out. And you can take it out in pieces or do it all as one big group. You notice as I move these forks in here, it really moves through the pork really easily. What we're going to do with it now is basically shred it. 
um, because these are really huge and convenient and shredding it really nicely even before I use my forks. But I don't want to use it all that way. Um, go ahead and hang on to your liquid and put it on the side. You're actually going to use that while you're shredding it because if you notice the tops of my meat here is somewhat dry and having the liquid helps keep it moist. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on the side over here and grab some forks. So I've got two regular forks right here, uh, and if you notice in my pan here, there's already some liquid, so I'm not too worried about adding more yet. Um, what you're going to do is basically just pull the meat apart and let it shred naturally. Uh, you don't need to add any extra spices at this point uh, because you had a lot of salt in there already. Uh, and it's still pretty moist, so it's going to absorb everything pretty quickly. Uh, if you add spices now, you might end up adding too much as it cools down. Then you'll regret it. Um, since, as I mentioned earlier, this makes quite a bit of meat, uh, my intent is actually just to, once this is really well shredded, to take this and package it into one pound baggies. Once you've got your cool pig cooked, um, you can go ahead and let it sit out at room temperature for a little while, but uh, remember that meat that sits out tends to make people sick, so you don't want it sitting out too long. You want it to sit out just long enough to cool so that when you put it in the fridge, it doesn't heat everything else up. Once you've done that, um, keep your scale handy. Zero it out. And you're going to bag about a pound in quart size bags. Uh, in fact, you can probably do that warm. It's just easier to, to do so when the meat is a little bit cooler because you're not going to hurt yourself. For this stage, you can stick with your forks. Um, I like to use tongs because usually I'm doing this by myself fold over the top of the bag like this so that once you get the initial meat in there it stays up on its own. This. Put your initial meat in just a small amount so that you don't overwhelm the bag. And pay attention as it may shift as you're dropping meat into it. And this right here, what a pound of meat looks like. Yes, you can stuff it more, um, but I like to put just a pound in a bag because that's about what's good for one meal. Once you've got it all in there, spread it out some so that when you eventually put them in the freezer, um, if you're not going to eat it all in one time, and certainly with all the meat I'll be cooking in the next two days, I won't be eating it at one time. Um, so that when you put it like this, you want to use as much of the bag as possible so that it lays flat in the freezer and doesn't take up more space than you need it to. And continue on with more bags until you're done. Thanks for watching.